Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get going on today's episode, what I just want to ask you... Uh, right. So before we get going, I just want to say if you have any issues with... Excuse me. Before we get going, I just want to say give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like, Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. War before we get going, I just want to uh warn you, this is a disclaimer. It is about snails and capturing and killing snails because they eat plants, right? And as gardeners, this is something that we do manage uh the world over. So that said, if you are sensitive to seeing this kind of thing, I am very clearly saying to you now, please click away from this uh, episode, do not watch this episode, um, because there are some dead snails in this, and some other insects and, and talk of, of animals dying and that sort of thing too. So, that said, if you're okay with that, then let's get going. Today's episode is the beer trap method. Okay. Also, like, subscribe, share, um, and yeah, okay. Now, let's go. So my mom's always talking about this beer trap. Oh, I just put a, you know, catch the snails with the beer, catch the snails with the beer. Really works. And to be honest with you, I haven't really tried it ever, because I'm just like, really though? I used to catch insects that way. Um, but I haven't really tried it, so I did. I decided to try it since I've done the snail episode. So I was, I, I basically took the jar, submerged, submerged the jar into the soil and filled it with like a little bit of beer. Just depending on the size of the jar, of course, just a little bit of beer. It's all these boats leaving. Um, and yeah, so does it work? Is it just a rumor? Is it just crap? Uh, and people just keep copying the same crap on the internet and just like placing it over, placing it over like, yeah, it's a good idea. Let's find out if it actually is a good idea. So I've tasted this. I've put three jars around in different areas. Two at the nursery, one at my house. Uh, at my house, I've got way more snails and at the nursery, hmm, not so much, which is a good thing, right? Oh, it's meant to be this eye, right? Okay, so let's get into it. So if you fill the jar about that much with uh, beer, so I don't know, what is that like? A fifth or something or a sixth? And uh, you bury this jar so that the surface of the soil as well as the surface of the jar are level or together. So you're basically burying the jar up to its rim, okay? And then you kind of just leave it there. Now, where I'm going to put it is, let's just, uh, I'm going to, it's nearly dark, um, so I hope this is not too bad, um, but I'm going to just place it somewhere along this sort of vegetated strip in the garden, okay? So there's a pathway right here, and there's a pathway on the other side over there, um, and we're going to see what exactly will happen if we, you know, do this little beer in the jar experiment. Okay. Right, it's now sunset. Um, it's a very beautiful evening. I'm going to use my flashlight and uh, I wanted to do this uh, on the right day so that uh, it maximizes the, the sort of, I don't know, the potential of the trap, really. So, I've now put the jar in over there, and what I'm just going to do is just water it in, because uh, it did rain today, so I want to sort of try and make the space as natural as possible, yeah, so that it, uh, it does draw snails, just to even to walk across this area. Right. I think that should be enough. Okay, now let's take a look inside the jar, right? There's nothing in there. It's 
empty. So right next to me I've got my beer which I am just gonna open and um, just for the sake of YouTube I'm going to not show you the beer. Okay but you can see that it is beer. So I suppose I should have folded first uh, and then perhaps just put the lid on it and then buried it so that that would ensure no sand getting in there. I didn't get any sand in but uh, now I can't really see how deep it is <laughs> which is a bit silly but nevertheless um, let's just see if I can kind of gauge Ugh. nope my hand's too fat but it does go about that far already so right so now I'll just maybe throw in a little more for good measure Right, so now we wait. So I've selected a spot where I know that in those bromeliads that are kind of just hanging out underneath all of this uh, Pelagonium graviolens or scented geranium, uh, rose geranium, uh, they are bromeliads, right? And uh, I know that there's nails in there. So I want to see, there's the beer, and I want to see if that is going to live up to its name, the beer and the jar method for capturing snails. Now sli something slightly different with the third jar, what I'm going to do is I've noticed that these uh, young uh, orchids are being chowed by what seems to be be some kind of gastropod, either slug or snail, right? Um, so th in this case I'm not going to bury it. I do see some snail poo right there. So I'm placing it close by to where I assume they're hanging out. I've tried looking for them but I can't find them. So literally all I'm going to do is uh, just get some beer in there. Okay, that should be enough. I think when the foam subsides, it'll probably uh, come to the right level. Good morning, so before I get swarmed by my cats, let me take a look. Here comes the first one already. Let's take a look at what we have found. So, there is absolutely nothing in there. So, uh, yeah. That's day one. There's still a little slug right there. None of them have gone into the actual jar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I lie. There's one slug down there. So, okay, well, there's one candidate. Let's just make sure there aren't any more. Uh, yeah, there are two slugs. There's one over there, and one floating on the side there. So slugs so far? Yeah, that works for slugs. Good morning, so it is two days later. And if we look inside, there are some gastropods in there. There's snails and slugs in there. This one? Uh, nothing at all so yeah the beer is busy evaporating in this one so um I don't know what to say guys okay well it didn't capture any snails but it did capture a cockroach so yeah maybe cockroaches like beer too well Day one, this one still hasn't caught anything, and uh, resultant of it is my vandas are still being munched. I think the beer is probably really old now, but there isn't anything in there. This one didn't catch anything.
Right, so what's happened is the following. I've left the jars in their positions for a good long time, like a month or something. Uh, then COVID caused my country, like we locked down alcohol sales, so I couldn't refill the jars with beer. Um, it did last, obviously it lasted quite a week because it's in the ground and the others that were not in the ground were in the hothouse, so it was, uh, it was okay. So, resultant effect is, jar in the garden, in fact did catch snails and slugs, and then later it drew other insects that eat rotten flesh as well. So, does it work? Yeah, absolutely it does work. The jar in the hothouse, however, caught absolutely nothing. So, that's quite interesting. The other jar at the nursery, which was also in the ground, it didn't catch anything, but it did catch a shrew, and the shrew drowned, sadly. So, my conclusion to this whole sort of beer trap method for snails is, I don't know, you know, you can you can decide for yourself but for me I'm not going to use it I think it does work but you'll trap a lot of other things that aren't necessarily snails and that's not fair on those creatures so yes the beer trap method does work but if you've got other little animals mammals especially I mean well obviously anything really uh, that isn't a snail then you know maybe rethink your situation or check it check on it absolutely every single day or twice a day if you can um, especially after a period of darkness like evening uh, if you I suppose follow those principles then yeah sure it's gonna work um, does it catch as many snails as you could personally with your own two little hands no it doesn't it doesn't do that so it in conclusion yes it does work does it work as well in my opinion no are other animals at risk of being injured as a result of the beer trap method absolutely so for me it's a no sorry uh, but if it does work for you and it does work in places like a hothouse where you're not putting the jar into the ground and you can actually see and keep tabs on it then yeah okay so I hope this was useful it was definitely useful for me uh, I learned something out of it, and uh, yeah, it's a waste of beer really, isn't it? <laughs> Especially in, you know, current situations where we're not allowed to buy any kind of alcohol. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Uh, if you have, thanks a lot, and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.